Hello and welcome to this video by ComputerGarGuard.com and what is the final video in our series on common VLOOKUP problems and in this final video the last problem we're going to look at is when your lookup table contains duplicates so I've got a list of fruits similar to the previous videos uh, but where I have a unique ID such as the order ID and then the fruit is actually duplicated this time. So if you wanted to create a VLOOKUP to look up information about an order, that's great. We've got a unique order ID, that's absolutely fine. But it sometimes happens when doing these courses and talking about VLOOKUP uh, that I get asked, you know, can we create a VLOOKUP to return all the items? Uh, well, no. You know, a VLOOKUP will only ever return the first item it founds uh, finds determining what you're asking it to look for so if you ask it to look for uh, the order of a banana it's only going to return the first one we can't ask it to return all orders of bananas we can't ask it to do that we can create more than one VLOOKUP but that would be extremely problematic and is certainly not the best way of doing that that is not the job of VLOOKUP its primary job is to look for a unique ID item unique ID and return information about that like record from that that item that's its job so I guess depending why you have duplicates there are different solutions to this you know a couple of solutions we can got is maybe to deal with the duplicates it might be that you did not expect your lookup table to have duplicates and it should not have them so in that scenario you know we can look at maybe our data tab and a button to remove the duplicates that might be uh, your solution to that in the scenario I'm giving here that is not the solution they are different orders this is legitimately happening there's not really a problem here I expect duplicates because we're taking as many orders as possible so I don't want to remove them but maybe in yours it is through error the way this spreadsheet comes about uh, the same item has been repeated for some reason and you need to remove them for your VLOOKUP to work. You know, in which case, let's pretend I'm going to roll with this for a moment. I could click my remove duplicates button. It will have a look at my data and ask me how do I know if it's a duplicate. I could uncheck some boxes to tell it, look, focus on these two. If there's a match, if the fruit and the ID are the same, then you'll found a duplicate. That's the same product again ignore these others when I click OK it's just going to wipe out any fruit that's been repeated more than once you know ruthless in its nature destroys all like once it's found the first item we'll keep that takes out any it can see after it not what I was wanting to do there so I'm going to undo that step and we bring them back uh, control Z for undo and what we're going to look at is the use of a pivot table so if I really did want to return all the orders for a banana, for example, a VLOOKUP is not what I want. I probably want a pivot table among other tools that can achieve this. So I'm going to click somewhere in my list. I'm going to go to insert and the pivot table. I'm going to tell it to create a pivot table from that table, from that range. And I'm going to put fruit in the row labels. Uh, I tell you what, no, I'm not. I'm going to put fruit in the report filter. That'd be a better solution because I want only bananas. And then I'm going to put uh, ID in row labels. And I'm going to put the quantity price, the value, in the values box. Uh, which could do with being formatted as a currency to be fair but if I do a filter here for only bananas I just realised I've got the wrong field in row labels I don't want ID, I want order ID and now we have it, these are all the orders for bananas and I've got this little filter uh, a bit like we could have like looking up if you will looking up all the items 
And this is sometimes a you know misconception, as I say, when I'm delivering these courses, that uh, people say, well, I want to look up all these items. And in a way, this filter is our lookup. It's actually a pivot table. It's summarising complex data. So the fact that there's duplicates, really. Um, as I say, I could format this total column. I'm going into value field settings for this from this little arrow. This isn't designed to be a full tutorial here on the use of pivot tables. Uh, please check out computergargle.com for more more tips on pivot tables or any other commendable source for a far better tutorial than this. But this is to demonstrate other approaches as preferred to a VLOOKUP for when your table uh, does contain uh, legitimate duplicate values. And here I'm returning all the items uh, for uh, that product. Looking up banana, returning all the orders for it. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tutorials at computergargard.com.